What is good, my Rags and Fitness people, my Rags and Fitness folks, my Rags and Fitness fam? It's your man Rags. Back off up in this thing. I want to tell you I'm up in it. I'm talking about I'm knee deep all the way off up in it. For all of my weight loss journey, people. Keep God first. Keep your head to the sky. Shake all of the haters off. Rags is about to get more serious about his weight loss journey also. And for all of my Crimson Tide football fans, can I please get a roll tide roll, baby? <laughs> now, hey guys, listen, for all of my people, man, I mean, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, for all of my people that subscribe to Rag's channel, man, I appreciate you guys. You guys like the videos. You guys coming in the comment section. I appreciate it so much. For all of my new people that's coming and discovering Rags that may been watching Rags for a minute, that may not be subscribed, please take time out. It's free of charge. Press the subscribe button, hit the post notification bells, right? The post notification bell, there's only one of them. Like, comment, we engage back. In any type of debate, any type of comment you make, we always engage back. We acknowledge each other, right? Hey, Rags hit up 800 subscribers the other night, but some kind of way, they took it back from me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if something YouTube did or somebody just um, um, unsubscribed. I don't know, but I had 800 subscribers the other night. I want to go ahead and just say, guys, thank you for getting me to 800 subscribers. I'm going to go ahead and say it now, even though I think it's back to like $7.99 or something like that. Thank you guys for getting me to 800 subscribers. It means so much to me. And um, guys, we're still on that road to 1,000 subscribers. You know we got the uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway, $100 gift, uh, gift card giveaway. We'll talk about that later in the video. But as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be talking about Alabama pro day and the standout now we're gonna really be talking about the standout because we know how the pro days go man i think a lot of these guys come there to see if these guys are gonna just make mistakes because basically what you're doing you're running routes you're you're passing and want to see how big your arm is how accurate you are are you gonna under throw the ball are you gonna overthrow the ball they want to see how quick you are in those, these drills and you pretty much it's, it's a pretty much to me a free day as long as you're just out there doing what you're supposed to do you're not lollygagging you're not um you're not out there just, uh, you know, just not giving it your all. I think you'll be okay when it comes to your pro day. You know, um, Bryce Young had one other day. Everybody know that he's the big talk of the NFL right now. Should he go number one overall? Is his height going to be detrimental to him? Um, is his weight going to be detrimental to him? Which team is going to pick him? All that blah, 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 blah. That's the big talk right now. Who's going to be the number one quarterback taking all the way over, all around? And you guys know I want Bryce Young to be probably the number one player overall, period. But I do want him to go to a team that he's going to be comfortable with, one that he's not going to have that big of a learning curve with, one that he's going to be able to succeed and excel with, right? That's what I wish with for, uh, for Mr. Bryce Young, right? But let's talk about the standout of the pro day, right? And this guy goes by the name of Mr. Malik Benson. Now, Mr. Malik Benson. Now, this guy was running routes for Bryce Young, right? Catching balls, running good routes. You know what I'm saying? Looking crisp, looking quick twitch. You know what I'm saying? But the big thing with him we saw is his, his speed, somewhat of explosiveness. Like I said before, it's just you going against the air. You know, it ain't really no, it's like punching the puncher bag, as a lot of people say. You don't get hit back. But what this did was watching this pro day or whatever, it triggered me to go and do a little investigating on Mr. Malik Benson, right? So I went back to old YouTube, old faithful, our home. <laughs> I went to old YouTube, right? And I um, I did some digging. I looked at some of the old highlight films that he had. And this guy has a little bit of explosiveness. I've seen people compare him to Henry Ruggs, Jalen Waddle, maybe even a little bit of J. Mo Williamson in there somewhere. This guy right here, man, I tell you what, if this guy's got any type of that kind of speed, if he can catch balls like that and run routes like some of those guys ran, I tell you what, Alabama football faithful, we have a player, we have a dog, we have a alpha dog on our hands here. I tell you what, you put him in the lineup with Burton on one side and some more receivers on the other side, and you let these guys just go loose and you let these quarterbacks 
get acclimated and get 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 trust and 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 they connect with each other, get a good connection with each other. I tell you what, we're gonna have a good football field, a uh, good football team because this is one of the areas that I was a little concerned about. What would we look like? What would we do? And with Tommy the Bees knees reads at the helm of offensive coordinator, I believe he can put packages in for different players that would be beneficial for the team and different players, right? Tight ends, slot receivers, uh, uh, possession receivers, deep threat receivers. Man, if you think about it, guys, we may have the complete package here. We just got to get the quarterback on the same brainwave. <laughs> we got to have these guys connecting with each other, the receivers and the quarterbacks, right? So these guys are practicing every day. Hopefully that's what they're doing. Hopefully they are going out to eat with each other. Hopefully they're roommates, I don't know. But we need these guys on the same page with each other. And I believe if we get that, in my opinion, it's gonna be a, one of the top offenses in college football. I'm telling you that now, just seeing this guy, just, just, just putting some of the pieces of the puzzle together, offensive linemen, and start with you guys. You guys are the first line of offense. Defensive lineman, you guys are the first line of defense. We need you guys in the trenches to develop and be the best of the best. Because like I said before, I believe you guys are going to give us something to brag about, something to talk about this year because everybody say that we're all dead and we're gone. We're in our graves. Alabama is done. But I'm telling you something. Do not count these guys out. I'm telling you a little glimpse of, of, of hope like 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 Malik Benson and guys like that, a junior college transfer. Now this guy stands at 6'1. He weighs about 185. Like I say, he's very quick twitch. He runs nice clean routes. But he seems to have some 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 grade A speed on him. I'm talking about some 4'3, 4, 4, 4 something in that area, man. Like that guy seems to be that guy that we've been looking for. I was I made a video about Tyler Harrell the other other day saying how disappointed I was that he wasn't on the team anymore. But we may have a burner like that on the team with Malik Benson. You pair him with some of these young guys and some of the veterans that's already on the team. And like I said, get the quarterbacks on the same uh, page. Hey man, we're gonna have something good to go. Mr. Malik Benson, we are watching you. We're gonna be looking forward to watching you during the A Day game. Guys, we would not be seeing uh, uh, Tyler Lawson and um, and uh, Dallas Turner. We're not we not see Lawson and Turner on the field for uh, spring practice and the spring game. They're out with injuries. Hey, we'll see those guys when the season starts. You know what I mean? But uh, those guys are pretty much somewhat proven. What we want to see is the guys is going to back those guys up. So it could be a, uh, a lot of times we look at that as a gift, but it also could be a curse because we're going to see the guys is going to come after them. And that's what we need is that next man up mentality because we have had championship caliber years. The year, the first year that Georgia beat us, that was a championship year for us. But we had a lot of guys that went down with injuries. And when it was time for next guy up, the connection just wasn't there with the quarterback and the receivers and stuff like that. So now we need to develop as much depth at all positions as we can. Once we do that, one man go down, guess what? We're going to call it the next man up mentality. And it, it won't be any more of those Georgia Bulldogs where they, they beat us because we didn't have the uh, correct guys on the field because those guys was injured, right? Next topic we're going to go to. We're going to talk about this Alabama Crimson Tide basketball team. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you say it, everybody say it all the time. Hey, man, I'm not much of a basketball guy. I don't watch a lot of that basketball stuff, even if it is Alabama. But let me tell you something, guys. Hey, if you got any free time on your schedule and if you Alabama's on playing basketball, you must watch it. It'll give you a whole different perspective of basketball when you see a, a team sporting your logo, the logo that you always root for in football, baseball, volleyball, gymnastics, whatever you root for them in. When you see that logo on their chest and they're winning, it's a different feeling, man. And now let me tell you something. Let me break this down for you for the people who don't watch basketball, right? And I know you've heard this guy's name in the media, Mr. Brandon Miller, right? Brandon Miller is a grade A dog. I'm talking about alpha dog. He's just a freshman. This guy is a beast. He may not be with us long, so if you get a chance to watch him, I'm telling you, the game come on, uh, what's tonight? Tonight is March 24th. The game come on around 6.45 or something like that, Eastern time, I think. 
You guys need to turn that game on and watch it if you want to watch something special because he's going to be in the NBA soon. Watch him while you can in the collegiate level, right? But that guy's something special, and he's leading the way with us. And he's got a he's got several counterparts with him on his team, man. They're balling. They're doing their thing. Let me put something else into perspective with you. Alabama has only made one Elite Eight in college basketball history, in the history of Alabama. We've only been to the Elite Eight one time. Now, tonight, we will be playing San Diego State, right? We're in the Sweet 16. Hooray, hooray. Give them a round of applause. That's not an easy uh, feat right there to get to the Sweet 16. Alabama Crimson Tide basketball team is in the Sweet 16, right? If we happen to beat San Diego State tonight, Alabama Crimson Tide basketball team will be going to the Elite Eight. I forgot the team that they may play, see? but it don't matter because Alabama has a great basketball team, and I'm telling you that now. You better tune in. If we win tonight against San Diego State, this will only be our second appearance. Number two, our only second, our second appearance in the Elite Eight. Guys, this is history. If you have any kind of free time on your hand tonight, tune into this game because you're watching history. If you sport this, this script eight right here on your shirt, if you got it tattooed on you, hell, mine tattooed on my heart. I bleed crimson. Now let me tell you something. You better tune in because tonight could be history breaking. We go to the Elite Eight. Now let's just say we win tonight. We go to the Elite Eight. We play those guys. Guess what we're going to next? We're going to be going to the uh, is it the final four? We're going to the final four. Guys, we have never in the history of college basketball been to the final four before. And I'm telling you, man, if you want to be a part of history, there's a lot of things we've seen in history. But this would be, if you're an Alabama fan in any kind of uh, aspect, watch these guys. I'm, I've said it before. I'm, I'm repeating myself. I know it. Watch them because you're going to be watching history. I got a strange feeling that we're going to be making it to that Elite Eight tonight after we beat San Diego State. Beat them, we're in the Final Four for the first time ever. And when I tell you that I'm proud of that basketball team, man, I am proud of that basketball team because we have came a long way. And Mr. Nate Oates, man, I, man, thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you're doing. You give me that bragging right to say, hey, not only am I an Alabama Crimson Tide football fan, but I'm an Alabama Crimson Tide basketball fan. I'm an Alabama Crimson Tide freaking gymnastics fan. I'm an Alabama Crimson Tide. They got a wheelchair team. I'm a fan of them. You got an Alabama Crimson Tide volleyball. Alabama Crimson Tide golf. Anything with this A on it. When I tell you I'm born and raised in it, I'm born and raised in it, and I'm a big fan of it. I know I went off on a rant. This video getting kind of long, but I don't care. Hey. Please deal with it and watch it to the end. <laughs> but I'm just proud of my guys, y'all. I know I'm getting a little long-winded, but not only am I going to talk about Alabama basketball, I'm going to talk about other sports too, right? One thing Rag does, Rag loves to watch boxing, right? And I'm going to use Rags as an acronym. Rags is going to stand for Recreation, Athletics, Games, Sports, and Fitness. That's what Rags and Fitness is going to stand for from now on. Recreation, athletics, games, sports, and fitness. Anything dealing with that, I don't care if it's bass fishing, if it's NASCAR. Anything to deal with sports, I don't care if it's gymnastics, my daughter's in Chile. I don't care if it's that, whatever. Dealing with any kind of sport, whatever team, I'm going to be talking about it, right? So, with that being said, Rags is a big boxing fan. And we got some big boxing matches that's coming out right now. You got Mr. Garcia against Mr. Javante Tank Davis. That one is going to be in April. That's going to be one for the ages. You got to watch that one. Because, hey, let me tell you something. If you don't know anything about boxing, Javante Davis is the Mike Tyson of that smaller class. That guy is, is the beast. He's a hard puncher. He's quick. He's knowledgeable. Ryan Garcia is very fast. He has very fast hands. So, Mr. Javante, da uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis is undefeated. Also, Mr. Uh, Garcia is undefeated. Garcia falls under Mr. De La Hoya wing. And Javante, da uh, Javante Tank Davis 
was also under Floyd Mayweather. So it's kind of like that Mayweather De La Hoya coming back against each other again, fighting. It's something to do in April on a good Saturday, man. Tune in late that night and watch it. It's gonna be something great to see. Also in boxing, you got Mr. Terrence Crawford, Mr. Bud Crawford against Mr. Errol Spitz coming up soon. That's going to be June the 17th, I think they said. Now that has been a fight that be, we've been watching. That's going to be bigger than who? That's going to be bigger than uh, Marvin Hagler and, 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 and Sugar Ray Leonard. That's going to be a big, big fight. I'm telling you now, that's going to be a huge fight. Terrence Crawford, and that may be, that's, that's the next coming of the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. Crawford and Errol Spence is one of the biggest out right now. These are two powerful pound, probably one and two right now, or one, two, and three with, with Tank Davis being in there somewhere. These two guys, see, you better watch it because you're gonna be you're gonna be missing out if you don't watch it. But Bud Crawford and uh, the Truth Spence, Errol the Truth Spence, they have uh, agreed on the fight and it will be coming soon. Now, that was the last topic. With that being said, don't forget about the giveaway, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I mentioned it earlier in the um, in the video. We're gonna have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Listen, if this is your first time tuning in, you love giveaways, this is gonna be a big opportunity for you to win $100. A lot of people may look at it in today's uh, age in a time and say, hey man, $100 ain't a whole lot. But I tell you this, $100 just giving it away, you don't have to buy anything for it, you don't have to do anything for it, just only hit the subscribe button and subscribe to Rex channel. And once I make the video, just come in in the comment section, I think that's the easiest $100 that you can get. Now, with that being said, now, even though I'm gonna have a, a thousand subscribers, we know all thousand people are not gonna be in there to come in in the comment section. So once we get all these people to come in, you guys, all these people to subscribe, I mean, you guys come in, come in, in the comment section, it may only be 10 of you guys. It may only be five of you guys. But how many of you guys it is, it's gonna be an easy opportunity for you guys to win $100, I believe. It's gonna be, um, it's not gonna be these big giveaways, these channels, they got thousands and thousands of people in the comment section to win. It's probably gonna be only a few of you guys, I don't know. Even if it's a hundred of you guys, that's still the, with the chances of the odds of you winning this one hundred dollars is going to be very easy. So I think this is probably one of the easiest one hundred dollars I've ever given away. You know what I mean? Um, with that being said, guys, hey man, Rags is back at headquarters. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Whenever you guys see this white wall, that means I'm at headquarters. Um, I won't be at headquarters uh, a lot longer this week. And by the way, I won't be at headquarters a lot longer this year because Rex is going to have a new headquarters coming up. And with the new headquarters, Rex is going to try to build a studio, right? Rex is going to, uh, I'm going to take you around headquarters around here before I actually move out and all that stuff because Rex is traveling right now and doing some new stuff. And Rex is going to be moving to a new place soon. Um, a whole new city, right? Hundreds of miles away from him. Um, but. Rex is gonna take you around here by our headquarters. Rex had, this is nice. It's my Rex headquarters here is gonna be hard to top this one. I live on a lake, I got a lake out in the backyard. I go fishing, that's another thing. Hey, like I said, Rex stands for Recreation, Athletics, Games, Sports, and Fitness. Recreation, fishing. I'm gonna show you guys me fishing before I actually move out of here. I go sit on my dock out there in my backyard. I go and fish, uh, catch bluegill, shell crackers, and all that different kind of stuff, man. That's why I love headquarters so much. I know this all you see of headquarters, but headquarters is actually beautiful. I love it to death. Um, but I'll be finding a new headquarters soon. In the new headquarters, I want to actually have a studio type style thing in it. You're gonna see uh, more Alabama stuff, neon lights and stuff in the background. We're gonna have a uh, once you get me to the thousand subscribers, we're gonna start doing live shows. We're gonna be doing a uh, podcast type shows. We're gonna to try to get special guests on. We're gonna to try to get former Alabama football players on. We're gonna to try to get former players from any school on. Um, I'm, I'm friends with a few of these guys that uh that uh that went to the University of Alabama. You know, um, I had a cousin that was highly recruited by these guys. I had a cousin that actually played for the University of Alabama. Well, I call him my cousin. He's a real big fan of the family. I mean, friend of the family. Um, a lot of you guys may know him. He played back in the 90s. He was a he was a big time guy if you ask me. 
Um, what else? Hey, you can look at my last name and tell that it's some guys from that played on the Alabama team. Hey, man, check the last name out. That's one thing I never told you guys. But now nah, this guy, man, I don't. We, we may be distant, you know, rel relatives, but um, yeah, we're gonna try to get some guys onto the uh, podcast. Once we actually get to a thousand subscribers, we're gonna do live show podcast style shows, like I said before, and we're gonna have some guests on, right? And even some of the people that's in the comment uh, section, we're gonna let these guys come in and talk, you know, to us. We're gonna have a great time, man. Once you guys get me to a thousand subscribers, man. I know I was long winded today. It's been well overdue, guys. I haven't been making my videos every day like I wanted to. I'm gonna try to come back in tomorrow, right back again. And make another video. Raz got a big day tomorrow. My daughter's got uh, gymnastic chili, the type stuff going on. And Rags is a cheer dad. And Rags will be there. Hey, maybe I'll put that on the uh, on the video. But with that being said, Rags is out of here already. Yeah.